What's going on, everybody? Started a video a little bit different this time. Started off just with a quick sh uh, video starting the show, what it looked like in there and everything. I was really busy. There was a lot of people that recognized either me or the name out there from uh, YouTube or Instagram coming by, talking, and we were chatting away. Uh, I didn't really get anything of footage of people with stuff at the tables in there at all. There was some really unique stuff. Uh, my buddy Chad picked up an Allen and Ginter presidential pin that was in a card. I think it was like a 240-point card. Really cool pieces. Those were all hand-numbered out of 25. They, it was just... Allen and Ginter has some crazy stuff come out with the fossils and stuff. So it was really cool to see stuff like that out there. Uh, again, a lot of the tables, all the same stuff that you always see out there. But I did pick a few things up, which I'm going to show you guys here real quick. I did pick up some USC, just because I know who it was. John Jones. USC Finest. This is a, I call it the big old patch swatch thing. I didn't change these out of the cases yet, so. 2013. Um, I think I got this for like 10 bucks. It would last sell was like 30 then we got another one out of numbered out of 188. Another John Jones. Just saw him and I'm like, ah, I'll take a gamble on him, you know. 2012 on this one here. And I think I saw this one sold for around 2025. Um, found this. This was kind of unique. I know it's pretty in a scuffy case and I gotta get it all sleeved up, but uh Shadow Box of Steve Young. I had to look at it a couple times. I'm like, wait a minute here. But just kind of cool, not numbered or anything, back from Upper Deck stuff. This came out of SPX. Figured I'd grab it, just because it was something different I hadn't seen. Uh-oh, guess what? I own a PMG for Marvel now. <laughs> Vulture. I, don't know, I haven't looked it over or nothing, I just grabbed it. It was in a stack, and I, I did well selling that day, so I figured I, I wanted to pick some different stuff up. Picked some hockey up, found somebody at hockey. Hockey, can you believe it? So the print cat, this is the ice saw uh, rookie auto out of two ninety nine. I like this guy when he came out. It'll go off to get gray just because you know me in hockey. And I picked this up. This is the goalie for uh, Tampa, although he's hurting here the last two games. But as you can see, it said forty twenty five. You know, and then cut a deal with it. It's just cool stuff like this here that you don't see much of in shows. And, like I said, I'm always out buying the oddball stuff on, too. But overall, very good show. Considering the monster was going on up there, they still had a good bit of traffic. People were in there buying. Um, people, of course, value box hunting. That's, the show at Newburgh, though, has a lot of vintage into it. And a lot of guys that are older with the set builders come in there for it. So a lot of that. Plus, it was in American Legion, so you got good food in there, too. Um, everything cooked, you know, not nuked in a microwave type deal. But really happy overall with the show. Uh, I, I've always said it's been a nice show to go to and being set up there and be able to walk around. It's a smaller room so you can keep an eye on your own table even if you're set up with your buddies in there. But uh, people are always real friendly, uh, good to talk to people. I've Some people I've never even talked to on the channel before watch the videos and stuff like that. So it's kind of good to get out. Uh, meet everybody that watches the videos out there, make comments and stuff like that onto it. Appreciate the support as always. But other than that, I mean, good show. I don't have much more. I didn't buy anything else out there. Uh, kind of holding back here a little bit, just picking up some smaller odds and ends here and there. Plus, I got to get grading done. Next show that I'll be set up at July 9th, that'll be the Derby City one up in Louisville. And then two weeks later, the J&J &J All-Star, the guy did the monster, I'll be at his on July 23rd setup. I may do a little walk around this weekend in Lexington, I haven't really decided yet. Uh, and I know people are asking, am I going to be going on whatnot? It, if I do, it's this weekend for sure. I just have to get a lot wrapped up beforehand. Other than that, guys, take care. Have a good one. Catch you all next video.